in the mixed doubles as well. But of course, English fans will be hoping that doesn't happen. And for the first time since 2007, an English pair will get through to the final of the All England Championships. That second semi-final will be happening in two matches time. Uh, the first match though, uh, before that second mixed doubles, is the first of the men's singles. And it features uh, Elise Zia, the number six seed, up against the unseeded Mark Kalyo from the Netherlands. So as far as the men's singles draw is concerned, by quarter-final stage we had the two Danes and two players from Japan, six different nationalities, only four seeds. And as you can see at the bottom half of the draw is the two Danes, the two and three seeds, the defending champion Victor Axelsen and the World Championship silver medalist Anna's Antonsen. But for Mark Kalyo, uh, this is a little bit of history because no player from his country has ever contested an All England men's singles semi-final. This, as you can see, is just the second meeting between these two players. The only previous uh, meeting was in the first round of the German Super 300 two years ago. It was three games on that occasion, 54 minutes in total before Elise Jart won 21-16 in the deciding game. So our umpire for this is Amanda Balam from Red. England and her first job, Black. the toss Red. of the coin. Red called. Red for Black. the Mal Malaysian. This side. So Service. Thank you. Mark Calyo chooses ends. So, a little piece of history. We always like that when something different happens. And Mark Cowell, what a tournament he has had. But hasn't played against another seed until today because Lee Zijia is the number six seed. And he is 22 years of age, so he'll turn 23 in exactly nine days' time. Uh, currently enjoying his third week in total as the world number 10, his career high ranking. Second consecutive appearance at the All England and second consecutive semi final. And looking at his route through to today's semi final, beat Brian Yang of Canada in just 28 minutes, and then Wittinghus of Denmark in 35 minutes and then put out the former champion, the reigning world champion, Kento Momota in two straight games, 21-16, 21-19. So to his opponent and Mark Calio is 26 years of age, a boy born in Rijswijk in Southwest Netherlands. Tall athlete, 184, that's about uh, six foot and half an inch. 36 on the world rankings, uh, down from his career high of 25. A third appearance at the All England and prior to this year had never got past the first round. But looking at his results, beat Kosit Prepradad of Thailand in the first round, just 28 minutes for that. I don't know what happened to the Thai player. Seven and seven, the scoreline there. Then beat a man promoted from the reserves, Nat Nguyen of Ireland, who'd beaten the number eight seed and former world number one, Kadambi Shrikanth in the first round, and then played against Lakshya Sain of India in the quarterfinal yesterday. Three games, as you can see. He was actually quite comfortable in the third game. He was 16-11 up before it got to 16 all, before he pulled himself together and finished it off. So Amanda Balam from England, our umpire, as I was telling you, and Alan Crow, also from England, will be the service judge. So Morton, three of the four semi-finalists this year same as last. Same as last year. Yes. The only difference being Mark Calio. Yes. A year ago, it was Chorty and Chen. Yeah. But what a remarkable match it was last year between Victor and Lee Zijia. Yes, it was On in the right. semi-final stage. Lee Zijia, yep. Malaysia. And on my left, 
Mark Cal Yao, Netherlands. Lee Zizia to serve. Lulong, play. Well, it's a pretty impressive record. Two appearances at the All England, two at least semi-finals. Semi-final last year. Who knows this year? There's quite a gulf in rankings between these two players. So Lucy Jia, overwhelming favourite. But Morton, you were mentioning that semi-final last year against Victor Axelson at 19 all in the third game. Lucy Jia was faulted. Yeah, there at was the a net. call against him. Yeah. And that had a huge impact on the match. He's a young player with a very, very good attack. He's 10 in the world, that's what we just saw. I still think he is not completely consistent in his performances, but when he's playing well, he's playing really well. Yeah. Still needs a few more years of experience, and then I think he will be very consistent in what he's doing as well. And uh, I think he will go higher on that world ranking. So this over. Two, one. Yeah, that's very good judgment. Yeah, oh, that's landed in. That's a great defensive shot. Uh, put his hand Three, down. He wants one. the court mopped. Right, please. Well, he's been uh, fairly consistent this year. Morton, he reached the semi-final two weeks ago in Switzerland. And a couple of quarter-finals, or equivalent to quarter-finals, World Tour finals. He was a third in his group and... He was a quarter-finalist at the Yonex Thailand Open, but he did lose the first round of the Toyota Thailand Open, lost to Samir Verma in three games. Yeah, that was a bit of a thriller. Yeah, he'd been way up. He'd been he was so way up, yes. 17, 16 up in the deciding game and somehow lost it. In fact, it was the second game he was up, not the third game. I do beg your pardon. Yeah, well, he was way, way up, mm. I remember. He's a powerful player as well, isn't he, Lee Zizia? Yeah. Strong movement, yeah. big attacking play, powerful smash. Oh, look at that. Yeah, he, he reminds me so much about uh, the way he's built and all that and play, like uh, Chen Long. Yeah. I remember the first time I commentated on him and... I said exactly that, and it was all over the Malaysian newspapers <laughs> yeah. that I had said that he looked like Chen Long, played like Chen Long. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. So, what has Mark Kalyor got to do one. to counteract this thing? Uh, he, he, he's a bit uh, in a bit of a fix, I think, but uh, anything can happen. I, I think it's, uh, it's, it's all about trying to see if he can get control of the net. Um, if he if he ends up by lifting too much and play too defensively Whoa! and uh, not enough pressure and power, then Seven. I Whoa. think Lisi Cha will walk all over him. He needs to get that net. And then I think he's doing absolutely right there. Whenever he's got the chance to play shots downwards the whole time to give Sichuan nothing to, to play with. That's the right strategy. It's got to be hard work for Mark Kalyao, but he's got to do it. That's the chance he's got. then if he can put some pressure on Sicha, I think uh, perhaps uh, the Malaysian will get a little bit insecure, lose a little bit of confidence, make mistakes that we normally wouldn't see from his racket and so on, and then you never know what can happen. Yeah. Wow! Oh, that, that you don't want to give him. 
Not only that, he's a flat flick serve, and of course he's feeding off the pace as well. So that smash is really awesome. It's wide. Take no chances. Oh, there was an opportunity there. Yeah. Look how you Nine, three. Teisu Bolt, the Malaysian coach. Uh, it was typical for uh, Li Si Chao when he um, came out of the junior ranks. Uh, he was a very good aggressive player, but his defence was quite poor. And uh, you get punished when you uh, get into senior ranks and not having a defence. So they have been working a lot on his defence and I think it, by improving that, of course, his standard has gone up tremendously. Mm. But it's very typical for, for young players. They have a style of play and uh, they master so, sort of that style, but anything else is not really happening for them. So they get a lot, lot more complete players as and when they grow into the senior ranks. in the middle of that run, it was more like Lee Chong Wei. Lee Zizia. But he's got an eight-point advantage here at the mid-game interval in the opening game, and only six minutes played. known for his doubles abilities. Yeah. Played with Kun Ridder, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. 11-3. Play. Awareness. Service over. Four, and I like the fact that uh, Lisi Chia is uh, insisting on, you know, he's been treated treated in the press in Malaysia. You know, he's he's a different player from Li Chong Wei. He's a different person. He's got his own style, his own way of doing it, and he's just asking. For people to have a little bit of patience with him. He's still a young player and he's still growing up. So, um, and, and I like the way that he's, you know, taking a stand on that. Yeah, because of course, uh, so uh, Lee Chong Wei, who was oh, All England champion oh. four times, having contested seven finals. I mean, everybody was asking who's going to follow on and take over from Lee Chong Wei, and, and the press jumped on this man, Li Si but he is a different player. He's a different style of play. Oh, oh yo, yo, my yo. goodness. Well, that was ambitious, wasn't it? Yeah, but he's got the power. He's got the power to play shots like that. Backhand smash with full pirouette. If Here it comes. My eyes don't yeah. deceive me, yeah. Yeah. You get it in slow motion. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> What a shot. This is an awesome attack. 13-5. Yeah, to 
terrific. Oh my goodness, wheel spin. Yeah. yeah. Oh dear, yeah. That's unfortunate for Mark Collier. Yeah, right foot just... Yeah, slipping. Yeah. That's very, very good work. Service over. Six fourteen. Yeah, that's a nice cross court net shot, wasn't it? It's definitely the way forward for for Mark Callio. The attacking play. Yes. Not giving uh, CTI the chance to attack too much. Yes. Wrong choice of shot. He really wasn't fast enough forward to be playing that kill there. Now he got there a little bit too late, but he had made up his mind all the way from the back, and nothing's going to change that. Mm. of these players, Morton, has ever reached a World Tour final above a 300 level. Mm. So, for one of them, it's going to be a huge step forward, isn't it? Oh, oh, how did he get, believe it. How did he get that one back? What a rally! Brilliant, brilliant placement of the smash there from Lizzie Jacques. Service over. White foot call, please. That's just remarkable. Looks so nonchalant as he played it. Uh, it's short. Gives him plenty of time. Yeah. Longest rally so far. Yes. 
satisfied. Now I feel that Kalio very much more in it now. At the start, he seemed to be just maybe a little bit nervous, but he was certainly not in the rallies as much as he is now. No, he, he needed to, to adjust to, to the pace and the power, but I think he's done well. I agree with you. It's, it's, it's much more even now. Oh, good judgment. So this over. 17 9. Oh, 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 that's close. Long, long by a whisker. Shot. Short. Oh! No. Mark Crossnet. It's his fault. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's over. Uh, it sort of can't happen to all England's <laughs> running semi finals. No, no, it was a similar situation, I actually think. <laughs> yeah, he was very worried for a moment there, Lisa Sharp. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. That's good play. 19. Short, sharp motion with the racket head to play that backhand kill. Watch this. Yeah. Crisp. It's nice. Two points away from the opening game now. That's good reaction. Good yeah. play by Mark. Wonderful play. Service over. So I still remember in 2017 11, when uh, Li Xichao was very young, he played the Sea Games, the Southeast Asian Games, and uh, he lost uh, a match in the final, a team final against Indonesia. And some officials were saying, oh, this guy is not good enough. But uh, I think he has proved them wrong. Mm. Wide. Oh yes, that's well played. I think we can have an interesting second game. Mm. Mark went uh, down quite a lot in the opening of this uh, first game, in the beginning, but I uh, can't remember, but uh, since what, the mid-game interval? Yeah, he was 5-14 he was, uh, down at one side. 5-14, yeah. But it's much, much better now, that's just out. Oh, he's challenging. Yeah. Mark Allen, can you challenges called out? Indeed, it was out. Challenge well successful. Night judge. One challenge remaining. So game point opportunities now so for Lee C. Sharp. Game point 13. Opening game yeah. to the number six seed from Malaysia, Lucy Jia. 21 13. 21 13 in 19 minutes.
Eén keer dat doen, één keer tempo eruit halen, maar niet in zijn tempo mee gaan. Want precies wat ook aan het begin zag, als hij vlak of erin komt, ja, dan ben ik kansloos. Dan, uh, ja, ik, kan, ik kan het niet blijven verdedigen. Ja, het enige wat je wel weet, is dat op het moment dat je hem te vlak inspeelt op zijn voorhand, dan mm. knalt hij hem heel hard weg door. Dus ja. je, je moet je 100% daar doen. Je moet hem of dan gewoon zeg maar, kort. omhoog geven, dan is het even versnellen. Maar constant variëren in mijn ja. snelheid, denk ik, erin. Maar ik kom maar anders niet goed in. Ja, het belangrijkste voor mij is wel, zeg maar, dat je als je een bal inspeelt, dat je echt een net gaat tip zetten. Dat hij over je heen wordt. En dan moet je snijden hard werken om weer naar achter te komen. En dan, zeg maar, als je er goed achter komt, ja, dan sla je hem hard naar beneden. Kom je er niet goed achter, dan probeer je hem zeg maar, wat meer naar beneden te kappen, het tempo eruit te halen. En hij stapt niet echt in. En hij verlegt het wel, ja. maar dan kun je in ieder geval de door. Als je hem te vlak dan hard inspeelt, dan knalt hij hem gewoon bij de andere kant. Ja. Dus daar, die uh, link moet je even zien. Uh, ja. 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 Second game, the ball, play. Well, Lindsay Jacques, one game away from the All England final. Oh, oh my goodness, that was close. close. Sorry, nearly made it. Yeah. Good play by Mark. Nice spinning net shot. This one here. That's a beauty. It's close. I suppose the best result of Mark Collio until now, Morton, was him reaching the final of the US Open Super 300 event in 2018. Yeah. Mark Collio challenges called called in, in. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand that you sometimes get a little yeah. bit confused yeah we certainly do at times don't yeah, we Morton we do oh yeah, that's, just out that's correction good challenge out. yeah two love play Unbelievable net shot from Lee Zijia. My so, goodness so me, that, that was a tight tumbling one, net shot. Two. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Mark have to watch out that he is not playing his shots too close to the net from a low position because that is giving Zijia a good opportunity to play these spinning net shots. Pro possibly have to play a little bit of what we call long net, to push it a bit into court. And here we had a, another example of it. Yeah. That shot is played from a too low position. He's not in control. And um, what happened is just what we saw before. Try to have a look at this. This is from a too low position. And this is tight. And CTR closing down the net. Oh, my goodness. He changed his mind there. So the said that. And here we saw the opposite example where Sichia was a little bit low and look how he's pushing it into the court. Look at that. 
So Mark is not getting too close to the net and therefore that spinning net shot is becoming much more tricky to play. Yeah, the further you are away from the net, the more difficult it is to make it tight. It's yes. exactly the same as golf. When you're on the green, it's easier to get the ball in the hole than when you're <laughs> way back and down the fairway. Yes. Oh, that's why. That's, that's a little wild. But Mark has got well, a very good start here to the second game. Four, three. And that's what he needs. He needs to make it tight all the way. He needs to follow his opponent all the way, make that scoreboard pressure. And perhaps Lisi Chia will get a little bit nervous and start making mistakes that he would normally not make. So very important for Mark Kalyo to stay with his opponent. That's well, well left. left. Yeah, that's well left. Yeah. And of course, for the Malaysian, I mean, he's expected to win this. His ranking's higher. He's seeded. Mm. Mark Calio is not seeded. And he has to sort of try and do the impossible, which is to put the enormity of this match out of his mind and just play point by point. Mm. But that's difficult. <laughs> he's only human. <laughs> Oh, that's a good smash. That'll help settle the nerves. Chose the right side. Over. Good anticipation. Five, six. hit wide of the sideline there Morton but he did try and push that back from the net area he did he did the right thing yeah pushed it towards the front service line rather than making it tight to the net so uh, now when we have a little break here when we look at uh, the game of Felici Cha I think if I was him and his coaches in the future I will work on trying to win points not only on his smash but in terms of pace and accuracy and pressure in terms of the overall game and not just winning on the big smash because if he's up against someone who's got a good defense on the day and everything is coming back he will be running out of answers yeah it's another good rally yeah they're both pushing back from the net they are they are they don't want the other one to get too close. Missed it. No. Seven, six. Almost rally so far. Uh, chest out. Good attacking from Mark Calio. Seven, 
See that happens as soon as the shot is played too close to the net. That's giving the opportunity for the spinning net shot. This time, CTR was playing a wonderful shot. Try to have a look at this one. That's the one. Mm. And then just making sure that lift is too short. Subok, happy. Well left, just wide. Nine, seven. Five of the last six points to Lee Zijian. Good attack from Mark Kalyo. Nine, ten. Did not fall for that uh, flick surf. Well, good placement of the smash. Yeah, just a clip down with the racket head, wasn't it? Yes. Very little follow through. Oh. Mm, back level. Definitely a test of character for the easy chair. Yeah, good pressure on the low serve. And it is the Malaysian who has the advantage at the mid-game interval, albeit just a one-point advantage. He's actually a good men's doubles player as well, Lee Sitya. Can play a very good doubles. And we saw the attack on that low serve here. It's one of the rare occasions that Mark Calio has got the better of the net play. He was there first to get in and yes. play the tight spinning net shot. Yes. Look how forcing, short lift was. Yeah, forcing the short lift. I do like his work rate though, so Mark yes. Hectic player, but uh, yes, he's working very, very hard. Seen him play a few uh, badminton league matches in Denmark as well, and it's the same pattern.
Oh, it's just long. Well, that's a pity from his perspective. Because I think Lee Zee was, was completely... Was yeah, he was stranded. Yeah. Nowhere near it. himself in a muddle there, Mark Hurley. Uh, he did the right thing. I like the one that he's pushing flat down the forehand side of uh, Sitya. It's coming here. That one there, I like that one. I think he did the right thing, but uh, good defence from the Malaysian. Using his very good reach in uh, that situation. He's a tall athlete, isn't he? Yeah. 184. Uh, Actually, Lucy Charles. 186. Yeah, higher than that, yes. Mm. Oh, that's a beauty. Yeah. Threaded it down the line. 13, 14. And what is very important for Mark Calio is that he's staying with his opponent, closing the gap to one point, giving himself that opportunity. Uh, perhaps Lisi Chia is getting nervous. Perhaps he's making a few mistakes. And that could be costly for the Malaysian, yeah. like this one here. Yeah, that was a nervous shot. Yeah. Yeah, he just loosens up the shoulder 14. after making that smash error. He knows 14. he's so close to the All England final. And he's got to put that out of his mind. A great shot and into the lead once more. 15, Mark Calio. 14. Yeah, that's a lovely angle. Yeah, it's the angle that's really doing it. This was an important point, I think. But it was good pressure from Lee Zizia. Needed that to settle his nerves. There's one left. 16, 15. Right, the court, please. I'm sure his family up in Kedah, north. West Malaysia is very nervous right now, watching this live on TV, listening to what we're saying to you. <laughs> Yeah, 
that was a nice uh, change of angle. Serving out wide. Immediately it left the racket, didn't it? That it wasn't going to go over. Oh, that's a terrific shot from Lee Zijia. Uh, you can 15. see he's tense. The young man, he's very tense. Yeah. But what a good shot. points away from the All England final, Lizzy Jean. Mm. Big gulp of air. out missed it oh well it's called in yes i think and it's out it's a challenge here from lucy jacques called in. his first challenge of the match and i'm with you morton i thought that was just wide indeed it was it is match point opportunities out. On a run of straight, six straight points, points, the number six seed Lee Zijia on the verge of the All England final. That's out. That's, that's out. Oh, there's yeah. a challenge here from. I think that's out challenges. too. Isn't yeah, I thought it was out. If it was in, it's going to be a bit of an anti climax <laughs> way to win the match, isn't it? Yes. What a Hawkeye call. Here we go. Yeah. Hey, another, it is out. Another good challenge. Yes. Out. We are sharp up here. We get most of them right. 16, a nervous looking shot 17 20 so will it be third time lucky for Lee Zijian third match point yes yes and the victory and Lee Zijian the 22-year-old Malaysian is through to the All England final in only his second appearance at this prestigious event. 21-13, 21-17, the scoreline in a match just shy of the 44-minute mark. Well, what a performance. He beat the former champion, Kenta Momoto, yesterday. And he's backed it up with a win today. Yeah, but the score is not telling the entire truth, I think. I think Mark Callio did really well. 13 and 17 is not really giving justice to, to the match. I think he was up there right with him all the way, had the opportunity. I think he played a great match. Yeah, well said. But the victory to Lee Zizia, and he will contest the All England final tomorrow what a feeling it must be for the young Malaysian so we know he'll play a Dane but we don't know which Dane yet
So their confirmation that the number six seed Li Zijia safely through to the final in only his second appearance here at the All England Championships. The uh, bottom half of the draw, Antonsen, the World Championship silver medalist against the defending champion, Victor Axelsson. Of course, he's been in the final Axelsson for the last two All Englands, beaten in the final in 2019, a winner last year.